Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you June 20th here. Aussie Minutes. Aussie Central Bankers all out, all hawks. The minutes were, I guess, a little bit neutral. Um, everybody's hawkish. Holy cow. Why is the S&P at 44? Um, 43. Why did it go up to 44.95? Doesn't make a lot of sense. It'll be very interesting tomorrow uh, when uh, Powell speaks. Let's see how the S&P reacts. Rates are creeping higher again. Here's the tens. After uh, probing, this is the weeklies. Why do we have the weeklies up? After probing, probing 370. Now we're back at 380. Uh, are we going to make any highs? Kind of looks like we are. The only problem with the tens is um, the professional community is are so um, short this shit. So they're short the bond, they're long the yield. This thing has trouble getting out of its own way, just because of positioning. But we got Bo Bank of England, we got SNB on Thursday. Both are going to raise. Everybody's raising. So why did Aussie go down? Well, everyone's raising but China. They cut last night. So you'll see dollar China up at uh, set near getting near 1720. But let's look at Aussie first. We talked about this yesterday. As Aussie looks like she wanted to turn. It's just a trade here. Um, long Euro Aussie. Through 160 worked. Uh, where is Euro Aussie? 160.60. Traded 04, then back down 93 through that level. Uh, but this was this was a combination of the minutes, which were I guess neutral, less hawkish. But Bullard came in and was hawkish. But then this is also Chinese rate cuts, so people are like, China's in trouble. This isn't great for Australia, so let's sell some Aussie. You can just sit long this thing, uh, put your stop at break even, and and look for the next next entry. What are the what are the next entries today? The calendar looks pretty pretty uh, silly. Let's take take a look at this dollar cad. This thing down on its knees at one thirty one sixty, creeping back up. The flock is short dollar cad. Not really even sure why. I mean, it just could be technical here. You see this long-term pennant was broken. Um, you know, what does this mean for us? It just means there's going to be a cartload of stops at 133, say 33. Let's be cute. 133, 33. Um, are we going to get a chance to take a short-term trade long through 40? It's not a bad setup, uh, technically speaking. Gold, not break trading this. We're fading this. We're fading into that one nine, that nineteen thirty four um, level. So forty five traded last night, sitting here at forty seven. This looks like it wants to just kind of squeeze all the players who got long here. We actually don't think this is going to make a new low. Um, Again, a lot will depend on how hawkish Powell is uh, tomorrow. So keep an eye, keep an eye on that. But we're accumulating gold. Dollar yen on the one forty two handle, been pretty choppy, got to say. Um, finally broke yesterday one forty two twenty five, then bang down to one forty one fifty eight. I'm sure that was the three a.m. bar, four a.m. bar. Um, I guess that was Aussie yen selling. But here we are, we're back a little higher. I mean, there's no reason this king can't go to 145. Um, risk off may put a little wrench in that. But it's been very choppy around here, so I don't really see any could clear trades there. Uh, so let's see. Technically speaking, Euro Swiss 98 on teams is important. Let's back this out on the dailies, right? 
So we played around at the lows here. Strong hands, 96 and three quarters. Got through 97.60, but then had that one day back down to 30, which takes out a lot of the uh, speculative short-term longs there. And now here we are. This is, uh, I've said this a million times, it's historically not a uh, break trader's paradise, to say the least. But let's watch this 98 centime handle. Surely we're going to break above it at some point today. But also surely we're likely not to hold. Um, and then let's, let's take a step back. SMB is on Thursday. They're going to raise rates. God forbid they raise 50. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know what Euro Swiss would do. I think most people are expecting 25, even though some of the counterparts are saying 50. I mean, if you know ECB goes 25 and SNB goes 50, you know who let the dogs out? I don't know what's going on with that. The other problem is retail is now super long Euro Swiss again. So. Let's just be patient with all of this, but something to watch. Also, Swiss Yen, which is at the nosebleed highs, heading touching 160. I mean, this is, have we ever touched this? This is never, we've never been higher in Swiss Yen. Um, that doesn't mean we can't go to 165. Uh, and it's just a product. It's not really saying anything about Swiss against Yen. It's just a product of of dollar yen and dollar swiss right um so dollar swiss can't get out can't get out, can't get out of its own way dollar yen and uh the carry traders of the world are, are just carrying this thing to ever new highs do we do not fuck around with swiss yen from here um but we are looking for we are looking and waiting for for some sort of super strong left-hand story. Because when we do get that, it is way overdone. Uh, there will be some money to be made. Is that left-hand story today? Definitely not. Could it be Thursday? Sure. If the SNB does nothing. Uh, you might want to bang out some uh, bang out some Swiss yen. Uh, put it in the book. Be ready for anything. Very unlikely that happens, but sometimes the most unlikely shit pays. Euro Kiwi. We actually bought this yesterday uh, through 30. Took a real, real tiny stop, stop loss on that, but did eventually um, break this consolidation level, which ended up being 43. Here we are, 171 Eurocad. Um, can un a Euro Kiwi can go higher. So if you're long Euro Aussie, long Euro Kiwi, um, you just want to stick with those and see how it goes. Accumulating some gold, uh, and we're watching closely this dollar CAD level, uh, 132.40. We're at 132.35 now. Um, normally we don't want to really get stuck in in size and dollar cat until the hockey players come in um so we'll keep it light in europe here and, and try and play for an average and then we'll see what happens when toronto uh straps on their helmets and gets ready to roll crude down a percent um uh, not really saying much at 71 cents but doesn't look no five stars out here. I'd say CADs are on a three and a half star. Um, and if you've been playing this game for, for 30 years, you can just skip all the three and a half star trades, right? It's just a waste of energy. Some of them work, some of them don't work. Um, whereas the five stars, you have like an 80% hit ratio. And so imagine if you imagine if you only traded twice a week only on the five stars and so instead of say like 10 times a week on 10 setups and eight of those are three and a half star setups um, imagine how many fewer gray hairs you would have anyway uh, again the calendar looks like today China cuts 
Bullard was very hawkish in Australia, but the minutes were pretty neutral. Um, we're watching these Swiss levels, but again, just kind of waiting to see where we we where we are on Thursday for that. So let's watch, let's wait, let's be patient, uh, and see what happens. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.